Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to today's streaming session, the London session. Okay, just, uh, I'll be going through all the usual today. So basically, you know, um, take trades live if we find a setup. That's that should be the approach, guys. You know, we only trade when we find a good setup. We don't, we don't just trade for the sake of it. We only trade when we find a good setup. So let's just um, go through the usual drill. Or oh, well, we are going to be going through the usual drill so you get to know how I trade and how we do it at Generational Wealth Traders. Okay, so let me share the link. Let me just share the link. Let's share the link. Feel free, guys, to share the link if you are joining us here. Now, if you are joining us here now, feel free to share the link with one and all. I am going to be doing some teaching today, so hang in there. Hang in there. Right, right, right. Let me share my screen. Let me share my screen. There we go. Now I've mapped out some ranges. You know, I, I hope to be trading today. Um, I've mapped out some ranges on some of the pairs. This is um, uh, Euro New Zealand dollar. There is the pound JPY. I'm going to be focusing on three pairs today. Three pairs today. And that is um, pound USD. So I'm focusing on pound USD, pound JPY, and Euro New Zealand dollar. You could say those are mm, my favorite pairs to trade. So let's go. Let's go. Okay, now this seems to be breaking out of that range. So we see what it was. I mean, this is um, the current week. This is the weekly time frame. It was bearish last week. Well, it closed. It closed bearish, not as though you know it, it is a powerful trend as it were, you know. But uh, we see, you know, this weekly time frame. There's, there, there is some sort of uh, consolidation going on. On the daily, we see what has been happening. It's just been weakening. See weeks at the top and weeks at the bottom. I suppose you could say, you know, um, we are not surprised because we are at a daily high, at, at resistance, if you like. So look at that on the weekly. We are at resistance. Obviously, that is reflected. Um, that is also reflected on the daily, not surprisingly, the four hourly, we can see what's happening. So are we gonna be breaking through resistance or are we gonna, is, is it gonna bounce off resistance? But you can see there are multiple touches there. Okay, so let's go to the lower time frame, the 15. <laughs> so let's see what this is gonna do. It's broken. Um, Break, broken out of my range there. That is the five. So we'll see what to do with this. Okay. All right, bear with me. I'm gonna you know, put on some music and do a bit more analysis and um, we will take it even further. So let's play some music in the background. Let's play some music in the background. Yes, 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 yes. We had a, a smashing day yesterday for those of you who um, are part of the Telegram community. You know, I'll be posting the link here shortly so that if you are not already part of Telegram, you would be able to join us. 
it's free to join. <laughs> Membership on Telegram is free, except you are part of the VIP. Right here. <clears throat> I believe it's going to be a good day today. You see, I am always expectant, guys. And I believe that's the way to be. You want to be expectant, especially when you've done your due, the due diligence. You can afford to be expectant. Okay. Okay, so I'll do some some further analysis and we will see what we can find. Okay. Okay, so we see uh, we see pound JPY there. You know, we see that it moved powerfully yesterday. So this is the daily time frame. That was um, this is today. That is the whole range of yesterday's candle over two hundred fifty. Well, about two hundred fifteen pips here today. Today is moved already about sixty seven pips. Now, you know, the daily range for pound JPY tends to be around about 800. So we're still expecting it to move today. You know, so we'll keep an eye on that. You know, what I am expecting is um, it will break the low of yesterday. It will take out yesterday's lows and we will see what to do with that. You know, for now, I mean, this is the one hour we see it is, you know, pretty much in this range. Well, it's a big enough range, 62 pip range. You know, um, so anything can happen. 
anything. Now, I haven't even checked the news. Oh, not very good. Let me check the news. Let me check the news, guys. That is something we definitely want to do as traders, check the news. Um, even though it is the case that I don't think there was, there is much today. Uh, but let me let me show you. Let's let me show you. You know, because obviously I always check it over the weekend, and I posted it in the Telegram group. Uh, let's share this. <laughs> so we can see there isn't much. You know, all tends to be um, yellow folder events, which means low in impact expected. That was you know last night. You know, um, the Aussie one, the red folder was last night. So we don't expect any, unless there is some unannounced news, then obviously um, that could then move the market. Otherwise, I think we are fine. You know, so what I'm looking to do is for this range to be broken. Now, yes, yes, guys, I know the chat looks a bit busy, you know, but for the trained eye, you can see through all these moving averages and all these lines, you know, so, you know, obviously, you know, to be able to see past all this, you need to have an eye, you know, for price. You need to focus on the price, not so much the lines on there, those are like for confirmation. So this is GJ, um, pound USD. Well, this is some kind of bigish range. That's some kind of big range. So it might not happen during this session. We might not be able to find a trade necessarily on this during this session. Okay, let's try Euro New Zealand again. Okay, so we see Euro New Zealand, you know, is still pretty much operating or moving in ranges. It was within this range I drew up. It went up there, formed a kind of range, and it's come into another range. So there are like three ranges here as it were. We would see when it breaks out of this one, then I would uh, be looking to sell. When it breaks out of this, you know, uh, rectangle I've drawn here, then I'll be looking to sell. So, so, so basically, you know, for those who um, know, well, those who know me, you know, when we come on live sessions here, I don't tend to scalp. You know, I tend to want to go for day trades or medium to long term trades. Hey. But today I am day trading, which means I could be scalping as well. When you're scalping, you're going for just a few pips in the market. You know, just a few pips in the market. Um, that's scalping. But you're day trading, you're looking to get into a trade, you know, to come out before the close of the day. I mean, you could be in the trade for one hour, two hours, a couple of hours. But you know, as long as you come out, you know, during the course of the day, that's day trading. Scalping, you're looking for like, you know, maybe. I don't know, for me, about 10 pips, I could let it run to 15 pips or more if it's gonna give me, if the market is gonna give me that. You know, but for me, I usually go for a minimum of 10 pips in the market. You know, um, if I see the price is not moving as I want it to move, then I could close and take a few, you know, less pips. But scalping for me is about 10 pips. I know there are those who scalp for three pips, four pips, hey, Kudos to you. You must know what you're doing. Absolutely. You don't do that if you don't know what you're doing. So, yeah, this is basically what I'm looking at. And, you know, if you're going to scalp, sometimes, you know, you need to really focus. You know, if, if, you, if you blink, you could miss a good entry. Well, that's a, a exaggerating, but um, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So I'm going to play some music in the background, guys. You know, but I am here. 
I might not be talking much. I would explain some more things later on. I would explain, you know, some more things. I'm giving you an idea to some extent of what I want to do, but I would explain some more and be, you know, doing some more teaching, you know, later. Now, you know, for 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 the, the friends on um, YouTube, you know, we're going to be here for about one hour. I mean, so we're going to be here till about nine thirty or so, unless I have a reason to stay a bit longer or slightly you know shorter but we're going to be here till about 9 30 uk time yes 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 i'm streaming from the uk now hit the like button for me guys hit the like button on youtube let me know where you are you know um coming in from today i'm reaching you live and direct from the uk Yes, 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 yes. So we're waiting patiently for our trains to come where, get to where we want it before we jump in. You can see what the market is doing. You can see what, um, you can see what the market is doing here. It's currently still not decided which way it wants to go yet. But it's it's moving though it's moving it's moving that's the good thing it's moving this is euro new zealand dollar right here you know what i'm expecting to happen with gj you know um again going back to the the daily time frame and the weekly, I mean, what I, I think, obviously, we're, I think we're getting a pullback. You know, Gigi has been in a strong uptrend. I mean, let's just um, zoom out. This is the weekly time frame. So it's been in some good uptrend. Now, some will say, what do you consider an uptrend? I mean, the textbook definition really is, um, you know, two, you know, at least two highs and two lows, you know? I mean, if this is the weekly, you might say, well, it was downtrend in here. It was kind of like, you know, doing its own thing and it's now, you know, moving up. Well, yes, but really, you know, if you want to, you know, consider if a pair is trending, you know, I mean, using the daily is good enough, you know, using the daily, I mean, if you were to consider from the low here, not so much here, maybe here, you can tell it's done at least, you know, it's giving us two highs and two low, two higher highs and two higher lows. So it's pretty much in a trend. So what I believe is happening now, you know, could be a, let's go back there. Let's bring out the Fibonacci. Pick it up from here. Well, you know, picking up from the, the, the last move, picking up from the last impulse, you know, you could say it's doing like a hundred percent, you know, pullback. Now, whether it's going to break, we will soon find out. I mean, if it breaks, you know, the, 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 the point here, then yes, it could go lower. So it's not for us to predict what the market is going to do. 
Instead, it's for us to just go with what it is doing. I mean, you want, yes, you, you should have a bias. You know, like for me, I believe, you know, with this being the daily time, daily um, candles, you know, even if price was to push up, it will go up so far. It might come this far. It might come this far before it carries on down. Even if it pushes up higher, before it goes, continue on its downward journey. So I believe that's what's going to happen with um, with GJ. It might go up before it goes down. Right here. So we're focusing on just the three pairs today. Well, actually, you know, um, we could have a look at um, gold and the indices. Yes, yes, yes. How could I forget that? Let's have a look at um, I have been trading um, I've been trading NASDAQ a lot lately. I've been trading NASDAQ 100 a lot lately. What might otherwise be uh, known as US tech on your platform some pro some brokers you know um, refer to it as us tech so let's see if we can pull up us tech um as well as the dow really well the dow and the dax Let's pull those ones up. Let's go. <clears throat> so this is um this is the German 30, otherwise known as the DAX. Okay. Okay, we see it's um, kind of like pushing up there. It is now in some kind of range. I would also prefer it breaks out of that range you know guys i mean you want to let price come out of the range unless the range is wide enough then you might want to trade it but i usually prefer the price to come out of ranges before i trade them so that's the dax let's try nasdaq nasdaq 100 Okay. Definitely keep an eye on them. Right. 
ratio All right, let's go back to our GJ. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Now, I, I do believe uh, the pound USD wants to drop some more. I believe pound USD wants to drop some more. I mean, we can see this on the daily time frame. The selling pressure is definitely there. It's 
broken that low. It's broken the current, the recent low, right? The line, the structure. So, I mean, I, I might be looking for a longer, tra longer term trade for this as well. You know, but obviously, we would see during the course of this um, session if we're going to be entering a position for a medium to long-term trade. But what I am looking, looking for today, first and foremost, is a day trade, day trades. Some good scalping opportunities definitely will be good. Yeah, this is um, looking good enough for me, but um, we would wait for some further confirmation. We'll wait for some more confirm for that confirmation. Right, right, right. Hello, guys. Nice to have you join us today. Noel from the United States, welcome. AG from Nigeria and Mohammed from London, welcome guys. So we are looking for some day trades mainly today. We're looking for, for some day trades. If we do find some uh, opportunities for long, medium to long term, then we'll do that as well. So I've marked up the charts, you know, with some you know, some ranges. Okay, so we see that um, GJ is breaking out of that range now. I wanted to break out, I mean, I marked this, you know, this range is here, the blue rectangles or the blue lines, thick lines, if you call them that. You know, I want the, the price to break out of this area, you know, um, decisively. Or better still, if it breaks below here, I will definitely be jumping in. So let's see what happens with GJ. We're also looking at um, Euro, New Zealand dollar. So we're looking at, we're focusing on three pairs today. 
Euro New Zealand dollar, pound JPY and pound USD. I mean, the pound USD, you know, doesn't seem like, um, I think that is more bearish than anything. Looking at the daily time frame, you know, it's currently broken the recent high, recent low. So it's more bearish than anything else. I am now obviously looking for a good break, a good break below this bit. And I'll be looking to sell. You know, if you've, if you've been following us on, um, on, on um, Telegram, you know, I've been posting the results there, sending out some trades. I will be sending out some more trades today. Actually, what I'll do now, if you're not part of the Telegram group, let me send you, let me post the, um, the link to the Telegram group so you could join us. It's free to join. I share a lot of um, tips there, trading tips, you know, some signals. And I do respond to some questions there. I do answer some trading questions there. So join the conversation. Let me post it there now. Let's post it there. So that's the link for our Telegram group. <laughs> okay, Mohammed is asking, um, I, am, am I funded or have I got my own account? Yeah, I trade my own account. I mean, I've been trading for, I've been trading for well over, you know, uh, eight years now. So I do have my own account. I do, I do, I do. But if you are interested in having a funded account, then you know, reach out to me in um, on Telegram. I would recommend some good ones for you. Now, now let me let me basically say this. Let me basically say this. When it comes to having a funded account, you know, I would not encourage you to get one if you are not consistent yet with your trading. You know, because what will happen is you will end up just giving so much of your money to these, you know, uh, prop firms. You know, the firms that provide the finances are called prop firms. You, you will end up giving your money to them. You know, uh, you know, one of them actually even owned up. They basically, you know, um, do I use the word confess that they make most of their money from inexperienced traders. Hey. <laughs> They make a lot of their money from inexperienced traders because they keep, you know, um, you know, um, getting you to subscribe monthly, paying monthly dues. They are not really teaching you anything. They, they, are, they are basically wanting you to prove that you can trade. And all those challenges, a lot of inexperienced traders, even some experienced traders, do fail them. You know, because of all the the the, the very strict and stringent regulations. You know, I'll tell you a bit more about them, but you know, um, let's let's carry on first. You know, when we have a bit more time, yeah, before the end of the session, I'll tell you a bit more about um, those prop firms that seek to fund traders. Some of them are really out for themselves alone. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Others, there are a couple of them there that I know that basically, you know, are out for the traders. And of course, for themselves, because it is a business after all, you know, but when the measures are such that it's difficult to win or pass the challenge, then you think to yourself, do they really want people to pass this thing or they just want to keep collecting their money monthly or each time they come back for a new challenge? But anyway, we'll talk some more about that, Mohammed. You know, so hit the like button for me, guys hit the like button let others know that we are here feel free to join to um, to 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 share the the youtube link so that um, others can join us okay so we see what's happening here you know um, the price is definitely you know not wanting to break out of this range just yet it's been coming out and going back in. So we would wait.
patient traders are like the ones, you know, what do you say? Patient dog eats the fattest of the juiciest bone. So we're going to be patient. We don't want fake outs today. No fake outs. We don't want to be cut out by fake outs. No, 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 no. Okay. So what I'll do in the meantime, I mean, you know, um, yes, I know some of you are regulars, regulars, you know, with me here when I stream on Tuesdays. I know you also, if you follow me on, um, if you're part of our Telegram community, you know I love posting harmonic patterns, you know, for you to trade. A number of reasons why I love harmonic patterns. Let me just. Um, show you some of the ones I am watching. Let me show you some of the ones I am watching. Come on. Okay. Okay, so let's um, check the harmonic patterns that we have traded lately. You know, I post them often in the Telegram channel. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <clears throat> so this is one that we've traded, you know, recently. You know, this is a pound JPY. We can see, you know, this is the reversal zone. And for those who are new to um, harmonic patterns, this is a bullish butterfly pattern. You know, it's a five-point pattern. You know, the X, A, B, C, D, and the D is where you will look to get in. You know, it's, it's known as the price reversal zone or PRZ. You can see here, it gave us some good pips before going back down. So if you had got in there, you would have been able to get some pips, even if you didn't get it at the beginning, at, at, the, at the very start, even if you got it from here, Even if you got it from here, it gave as much as 214 pips. That is good, guys. I mean, we were targeting about, you know, almost, you know, almost 400, but um, it gave as much as 200 pips before it reversed. Good, guys. I mean, um, watch, I mean, on, on my YouTube channel, you know, watch other live streams or you know, our videos as to how to take the harmonic trades, how to trade them. We, we have also been watching this one. We've also been watching pound AUD. 
You can tell I love pound pairs, yeah? We've been watching this as well, but we can see here, it's basically, you know, I've gone the other way. You know, I have not quite entered this trade because um, I wasn't liking the way it was moving. You know, so this green part of the of the position box, we call this the position box, the, the green bit of it and the red bit. You know, if you look to get in at D, which means going up, you know, will be where you'll be having your stop loss like here. And this will be the final take profit. But it did drop a bit for us. You can see I drew a trend line there, you know, um, just in case, you know, people, you know, um, know how to use the trend line as opposed to, you know, some other price action strategy. Now, the fact that, you know, we have the D doesn't mean you necessarily enter there. You still have to wait for a price action signal, you know. Um, so this has definitely gone against us. And if you entered, it would have gone to hit the stop loss there. A 75 pip stop loss. Whereas, you know, we were targeting like um, almost 380 pips, you know, a good risk to reward of one to five. Yes, it does. We do win them sometimes, but sometimes obviously we lose. We don't win every trade. You know, um, there is this one. This one played out well as well. So we see pound JPY played out. It didn't give all the pips. It moved up a bit and came down, but obviously it gave a lot. Then pound, so New Zealand CHF played out well. You know, for itself, it, it came all the way. It gave the full 160 pips. You know, so that was a, that was a good one. It gave the full 160 pips. There have been others we traded. Okay, this is um Euro USD. It basically, you know, uh, gave some pips and it came down and hit the stop loss. Now, one of the reasons why I love harmonic patterns, like I say all the time, you get a good risk to reward, a good risk to reward. And it, I mean, most of the time, because I tend to drop my harmonic patterns on the four hour time frame, you are usually looking at a risk to reward of a minimum one to four. Now that, that is good. That is good. Even if you don't get the one to four and get one to two, then believe me, you would only need to win 50% of your trades. If you were to take 10 trades and you were to win five with one to two, you would more than break even and you know, be in profit. But obviously with one to three, risking one to get four, a three or four, that is gonna make you a very profitable trader. So that's why I love harmonic patterns you know, quite well. You know, yep, you know, there have been others, but um, I have deleted them. And obviously sometimes it fails, like we see, like we see here. Guess what guys? <laughs> this was one we looked at recently, how to avoid harmonic patterns. We can see here, this one failed, this harmonic pattern failed, it pushed up. This one also failed, even though this gave some pips. I mean, this one gave, um, This is um, USD card. USD card gave about uh, 140 something pips, which is good, which is good still. You know, even if you didn't capture all that 140 something pips, even if you captured just half of it, 70 pips, that is still good. You know, so it gave us some pips before, you know, going back up. Now, the fact that we see that USD card basically failed twice, if you like, even though it gave some pips, confirms that this pair has been on fire. It's been, it's been very bullish. It's been a very bullish, you know, um, run it's been having. So if you are gonna be, if you are looking to short it, you want to be careful. That's basically what it is. We, we, we see how it pushed up yesterday again. You know, we see how it pushed up yesterday again. You know, it, it does have to do with the Canadian dollar, you know, because um, I was looking at some Canadian pairs, you know, Canadian crosses yesterday. And I see that um, where you have, where you have um, 
the card as the base pair, the base currency, you know, it has gone down, which basically means card is weak. Whereas where you have the card as the, the quote currency, it has pushed up like here, Euro USD, you know, like you can see here, this is the pair Euro USD, USD is the base currency and CAD is the quote. You know, USD CAD pushed up yesterday. I know Euro USD has been pushing up since last week because we got a good number of pips from that last week. You know, so, you know, it does tell us that Canadian dollar has maybe it's been, has been weak slightly. I mean, I've not looked at it, you know, um, per se, but just, you know, going through some of the various, um, crosses, I, I know that it's showing sign of weakness. But let's go back to our chart and see if our trades have lined up for us. Okay, that's not quite um, there yet. That's Euro New Zealand. Okay, that's... Um, That's pound JPY. That would be a good one if it breaks here. You know, looking at the daily, we see that yes, you know, there's some selling pressure. But like I was saying a while ago, I believe it's gonna. Um, I believe price will, will come this far before it goes back down. It might even go. Yeah, I believe the price will come in this area, come as far as this area. Let me put a box there. Okay. So, Okay, so you know, I believe you know uh, the price could go that high before it continues on its journey south. That's what I'm expecting to happen. So coming back to the four hour, we see there's some huge week here, some sizable week. We just want to avoid fake outs today, guys. We want to avoid fake outs. Okay, so what's gonna, what I'm gonna do, what I intend to do, if this pulls back to here again, if it pulls back here, it's gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be getting in if it comes back, you know, as low as here, if it comes to touch this point again, or close enough, I'll be buying to take it up, you know, to target here. If we, if you were to get in now, if you were to buy now, that would be most likely where it might, you know, um, reverse. It will be coming to touch this area again. But I would rather wait for it to pull back a bit and I'll buy going up. So that's what I would be doing with GJ. Yeah, absolutely. I wanted to pull back slightly. <laughs> doesn't my, doesn't my, my chat look very colorful with blue and yellow and every color in the world? Right, right, right. Anyway, so that, that's what I'm looking to do with uh, GJ. Now, the thing is with trading, like I said earlier on, you want to be patient. You want to be patient. There's no need rushing into trades. Wait for price to come to you. 
that is basically let it come to where you want it to come, where you want it to get to. Let it touch those zones or break out of those zones before you get in. Now, if you don't have something you're looking out for on the chart, then you are more or less gambling. There has to be something you're looking out for, you know, before you get in. There has to be some price action setup or pattern before you get into the trade. So I don't have to take any trade during this session. Oh no. If I wanted to take a medium to long-term trade, I could have gotten into some trades, you know, um, maybe, you know, you know, maybe that uh, pound USD. However, I am looking to day trade today. I'm looking to day trade only to mainly today, you know, so I am willing, that means I'm willing to wait until I get my setup. If it doesn't happen during this live session, well, so be it. It is what it is. I'll wait for it to get there first. Yep, you know, like I did say, I believe it's gonna come here, but I'll run away for a pullback first before jumping in. Otherwise, if it breaks, if it breaks above there, if it breaks above, you know, here, let's go back to the five. If it breaks above this area, then I'll be looking to jump in you know, for a buy. So let's mark this area as well. It's come out of this range now. It is in this area. If it breaks above here, I'll be looking to buy. Going to the one hour. So that's where I'm looking for it to break above. If it breaks above, I'll be looking to jump in, you know, to target this area. I mean, that could give me about 60 pips. Oh yeah, that could give us some 60 pips. Even though I'm looking for, well, day trade I did say, it could be scalping, it could be looking for more, more pips, you know, but I'll be looking to get in here, you know, to take it up there. Right, right, right. Like, like I was saying earlier on, I mean, we have been doing quite well, you know, with our NASDAQ trade, gold trade, uh, DAX trades. I've been posting, you know, uh, well, I've not been posting that in the, in the VIP, in the, in, in the um, I've not been so much posting that in the Telegram channel. You know, with, it, with, with the Telegram channels, the, the free signals or trades that I provide are, um, Currencies, currencies, you know, for the indices as in DAX, Dow, NASDAQ 100, and gold, I tend to take that with the VIPs, you know, during live sessions, or, you know, for those who are part of my copy trade service. So that's the way that works. But we've been, I've been posting the results, obviously, in the channel, you know, for all to see. Okay, let me get a drink. Let me get a drink, guys. I'll be back shortly. I'll be back shortly.
Right, yo guys. Okay, so I mean, we see this is um, looking like it wants to break out. This is what I believe we are waiting for. We want to break out of the break above here. And we would look to enter. See what we're doing, guys. <clears throat> now, so basically, what I'm waiting for is for the price to take out this recent high you can see all the ranges that um, it's been in all the ranges it's been in and uh, we're now waiting for it to take out this high and we'll be off to the races 
you know, so I am looking to get at least, well, let me not, let me not say at least, I'm looking to get, you know, um, as much as 60 pips from this today, as much as 60 pips. Now, the truth is, now looking at this, let's go to a higher time frame. You know, I doubt if we're going to get as much as that today. It could actually go that far. It's 185. Now, I mean, consider the fact that yesterday, it, you know, GJ did over 200 pips. Going back to the daily, you know, from where it opened all the way, it did as much as 215 pips yesterday. So who knows? Who knows? It could give us that much today. Who knows? It could even come here as well as here. I like to dream. I'm a spectrum, guys. I like to dream. I hope there are dreamers in the house as well. And I don't mean dreamers who basically just are trying to uh, dream in the impossible, so to speak. Although we know nothing is impossible. Hey. But we want to be realistic. That's what I'm saying. You know, we want to be realistic. Target, you know, so much. If the market gives you more, then you, you collect it. So what I am looking at now, but yeah, I mean, I'm willing to wait for this trade, you know, um, today. When it breaks the high, I'll be looking to take it, you know, higher. So that's pound JPY. And um, Euro New Zealand has come back into its um, has come back into its range here. It's come back into its range here. But guys, you know what I do. You know what I do. When we have a live trading session, even if I don't post anything any other day, when we have a live trading session on Tuesdays, I try my best to find a trade for us to take, which I will be posting in the Telegram channel when I find one today. So even if we don't take any trades during this session, never mind, guys. You don't want to chase trades. We would find a good trade today. I believe we will. I believe we will find a good trade today. I mean, in the meantime, guys, if you are watching, hit the like button for me. Now, don't hit the like button twice. If you've done that once, it's fine. If you hit it twice, you'll be undoing what you've just done. <laughs> you know, so yes, yes, yes. Okay. I mean, Walter is asking, how many pips am I willing to lose if a trade goes against my opening position? Now, it really depends on, on my, it depends on, on, on what I'm trading. If I'm scalping, you know, I would usually be looking to get, it would usually be a one-to-one, -one, you know, 10 pips for 10 pips, you know, so, you know, I'll be risking one pip, you know, for, well, 10 pips for 10, to gain 10 pips. Sometimes, depending on what it is, the, 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 the stop loss could be a bit more, which means I'm risking 15 to get 10. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know some people are going to say, oh, you don't do that. Well, it depends on the setup. You know, you know, to be honest with you, you know, some people take all this thing about risk to reward too far. You know, with a one-to-one, -one, I mean, there's a strategy I trade whereby, you know, a lot of the time it's one-to-one. -one, and it's pretty consistent. It gives me, it has a 70% win, win rate. And yet it's one-to-one. -one. You know, so if I'm scalping, I usually will be risking 10 pips, maximum 15 pips. You know, but if it's a, a day trade, you know, it could be I'm, 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 I'm going to be having a stop loss of, say, between, you know, 35 pips to, I don't know, 60 pips. Obviously, if it's a longer term trade, then you know uh, the, the stop loss will be more. So yes, that's. I, I mean, put it this way though. I mean, I don't use 
fixed stop losses. There are some traders who use fixed stop losses, whereby for every trade they take, it's like 20 pip stop loss or 30 pip stop loss. I don't know if, if that works for their strategy, fine, but I don't tend to use fixed stop losses. You know, I, I, I determine my stop loss based on the formation, based on the pattern, you know, based on, you know, the pattern. And as with a lot of um, trading strategies, as with a lot of trading strategies, people usually trade around structure. You know, so your, your stop loss will usually be, you know, somewhere above structure or below structure low. So that's um, the way I do it. I believe that, I don't know if that answers the question. Yes, yes, yes. So for those who have joined, just joined our Telegram channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. We were meant to have um, finished the Zoom session, you know, um, about 10 minutes ago, but let me stay another 10 minutes. Let's see if we can find some stuff. Let's see if we can find some goodies. You know what we'll do anyway, while we are waiting, you know, let's quickly have a look at some other pairs. Some other pairs that, you know, we might want to trade. Yes, guys, feel free to share the link, share the YouTube link with, um, with others, with friends and family, neighbors, enemies feel free to share the link the youtube link and of course the telegram um link as well i, I believe i do give a lot of um, trading tips and provide some mentoring some sort of mentoring in the telegram channel so 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 we see price is struggling to break this high. Now, if, if we look at that, you know, this is the daily time frame. Now, we see price is struggling to break that high. It's, it's it has tapped it a couple of times, as you can see there. Price tapped it here, tapped it there and there, but it's struggling to break that high. Now, this is one of the ways I'll draw a high. You know, factoring in the weeks. Some people might not factor in the weeks, you know, some people might draw, might do it like this. You know, but I believe it's good to factor in the weeks, especially if it's not too long. If it's huge like this, then obviously you want to be, you know, um, find a way to do that. You know, but um, I want, I do want to factor in this week. So we see, price is struggling to break that high. Now going back to GJ, okay, it has rejected that area, it seems, but that's fine. And this is pound USD. Okay, let's go back and check the DAX and the Dow, the NASDAQ as well. Right, right, right. US 30, US 30 seems like it wants to move up. It seems like it's getting ready to move up. Getting ready to get ready.
Okay. So I mean, with US 30, that's this one, with US 30, we see, you know, uh, it was bearish last week. I closed bearish. Yesterday was bearish as well, the daily time frame. We see the four hour, obviously there's been some selling pressure here. You know, but today, now this is the one hour, I mean, it's been pushing up in the last, how many hours? Last four hours, five hours. And I believe it's gonna go a bit higher. I believe it's going to go a bit higher. Now, what I'll be looking to do with the NASDAQ, this is the 15 minute time frame. If it does pull back a bit for us, I would jump in. So, with the NASDAQ, sorry, not NASDAQ, what am I saying? I've been trading NASDAQ so much, you know, it can't come off my lips or it can't, yeah. So, with the, the US 30, otherwise known as the Dow, if it breaks above here, if it breaks above here, this is the 15 minute time frame now. Now you could mark up your chart, guys. I mean, obviously, this is an opportunity for you to uh, pick up a thing or two, you know, from the, the live sessions. You know, guess what, guys? When you go on a live session, whether mine, or someone else's. Do not be looking to just take signals. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I just have to say it as it is. Do not be looking to just take signals. Look to pick up one or two things as well. For me, you could interact with me. Yes, you know, just you know, post some things there, your comments, questions. And if it's something I have an answer to, I will provide the answer or I'll respond to you, you know, try to learn something from the sessions. So this is um, the, the, the Dow. If it breaks above here, I'll be looking to sell. So I'll be looking to buy. Yes, yes, yes. You know, so that, that, that's what I've been looking to do on the on the 15 minute here. If it breaks above, I'll be looking to buy. If it breaks below here, I'll be looking to sell. You know, it's good to have a bias, but guess what, guys? You nevertheless follow what the market wants to do. You go with the market, go with the flow. Don't go against the flow unless you are very skilled at doing that. Okay, let me have a, a quick glance at some other pairs and we would um, call it a day. You know, like I said, I mean, never mind, you know, we've not found any trade to get into here, but at least we've um, marked up, you know, the chart and you have a feel of what or how I trade. And like I say, you know, if you join us on Telegram, we would be posting, I will be posting, you know, my trades later on you know, um, that I'm looking to get into or that I am getting into. Okay, yeah. Cheers, Mohammed. So once you join Telegram, guys, just, you know, reach out to me, say hello. Just say hello to me on Telegram. Let's uh, pick it up from there. Okay, so what I'll do now, let me, now just in case, before I carry on, let me do this. Let me do, let me show you something, guys. <clears throat> Let's run through some pairs. Okay, I mean, we were in Europe, we were in, uh, this is US, 
This is Euro card. You know, we took a Euro card trade on, um, I think it was on Thursday last week. You know, and by Friday, we had gotten about 48 pips. I can't remember, if, I can't remember now if it was Friday, we took it on Thursday, Thursday. But by Friday, I basically suggested that, you know, people close out their trades just in case there's some news in, over the weekend that causes the price to gap down. You know, but what happened? <laughs> what then happened? By, fr by Monday morning, the price shot up even more. You know, obviously, well, almost hitting my final TP. You know, uh, so from here, I can't remember exactly where we entered now, but I know, you know, uh, this was, this is today, that's yesterday, which was Monday. So we see the market opened yesterday and it just gave over 200 pips. So definitely it went and hit my TP. You know, for those who perhaps did not listen to me and left the trade open, you would have gotten the final take profit on, on Euro, Euro, um, Euro card. But looking at this, it still has some way to go. Looking at the, the daily, it still has, it could, it, it could still give us like 150 pips. Now, don't just jump in though. <laughs> don't just jump in. You definitely want to wait for a, a good you know, um, signal before you jump in that one. So I am gonna be keeping my eye on, on Eurocard as well as USD, Canadian dollar. You know, because they are moving powerfully. I mean, look at look at this. Just yesterday, it did over 200 pips. This is not exactly a common thing for USD card, but hey, you know, sometimes they deliver more than you are expecting. So I've been looking to, you know, I'll be, I'll be watching this closely. I'll be watching this pair closely. Now, what I'm going to show you guys is, you know, our custom indicator. Um, I mean, you see all these lines there. These are moving averages, you know. But let's let's take up the moving averages. We are left with just this. We are left with just this, you know, white and orange ball. I believe this is orange, white and orange balls. You know, so they are not. MT4 indicators. Instead, they are custom indicators, you know, which I have, you know, uh, you know, produced. So you can see here they do quite well. You know, when you see the white ball, you know, it, it, it's telling you, it's giving you an alert to buy. You still have to do some minor analysis before you eventually buy. So that's the white ball. When it gives you a an orange ball it's to sell and you can see it's pretty pretty accurate and the good thing about this indicator is that it does not repaint so you can see the balls are here where they are this is where they were yesterday and the day before you know it doesn't paint here and when the price changes or pattern changes it moves no you know so when i first started trading years ago i i used indicators that repaint and it's frustrating because you are thinking Having just received an alert, you are wanting to enter and then it moves. It's like, hey, make up your mind indicator. So mine is not like that. So you can see it's, it's pretty good. I mean, the last signal here, guess what? If you had used the last signal here, you would have got it all the way well. Even if you didn't capture all that, I wouldn't expect you to necessarily capture all that. But even if you, even if you captured some of it, even if it was just one swing you captured, that was good. The pullback, another move. So for today, if you are interested in trying out this indicator, you know, send me a message on Telegram, not on YouTube, on Telegram, and I'll let you try it out for a period. Who knows? It could be for two weeks, three weeks, one month. 
<laughs> I'll let you try it out and see. But you can see it does, you know, give some accu some accurate signals. I mean, I am going to be showing you how to trade it anyway, so you don't exactly take every single trade. I mean, this one, for instance, you know, um, you would have gotten, you know, just 10 pips from that. So there are some trades you have to avoid. There are some signals you would have to avoid. So reach out to me on Telegram and I'll let you try out this indicator. We call it the precision trader. Yes, generational wealth, um, generational wealth traders, Precision trader. And also, I mean, you can have access to this as well. You know, this is our free indicator. You know, uh, it gives you an idea of how much spread you should use, what, what your lot size should be. Obviously, it shows you the spread. It also tells you, um, it gives you suggested lot size. A lot of a lot of traders, newbie traders, blow their account because they don't quite know what lot size to use. Now, if you install this on your MT4. It would, it would figure out your account size, whether it's $100, you have $2,000, you know, $50,000, and tell you the spread to use for the trade. You know, uh, so reach out to me on Telegram. You could get access to this one and obviously this. I mean, this one, you can have that for, for life. You know, you can have the, the lot size calculator, you know, for as, as long as you want. It's free. But the Precision Trader, that is for our VIP members only, you know, um, but I can let you try it for one week or so. Now the offer is for a limited period because obviously this is on YouTube, you know, um, somebody might come three, four years down the line and say, can I try it out? And it might not be available to try out then. So just note, if you are watching on YouTube, you know, uh, today is the 20th of July, 2020. You know, I'm basically letting you try this out. You know, um, well, the offer is open till perhaps the end of the month. That's um, July, you know, 30th, 31st. And, you know, that will be it. So let's just look at, let's look at some um, trades. Let's look at some trade setups, if we can find something. If we can find something using uh, the precision trader. You see, I've stayed longer than I plan to stay today. Okay, you know what? You know, um, I would have to go. I mean, I would basically, you know, go through some some pairs to let you see how Precision Trader would have you know, done well for you, you know. But I would be looking to send, you know, my trade signals or um, trades I'm getting into later on on Telegram. So that's the plan. Uh, let's try. Yeah, USD card as well. So we, we see with USD card, you know, is made some good move. You know, if you had entered using this, that would have been a good one. Even if you sold, you know, because, you know, you want to go with the trend, like I say, you want to go with the trend. You know, I mean, I would not expect you to have taken this signal for itself, but even if you did, you would have gotten about 50 pips. Now that is good. I'm sure you could do it 50 pips any day. You know, but in going with the trend, you know, um, you know, that would have been a good one. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, okay, so you can see, you can see it's pretty, pretty consistent. You know, once you learn how to use it, it will deliver some good results for you. It will deliver some good results. Wow, you can see. You can see, I mean, I do have a couple of indicators and, you know, auto traders, but this, this is one of 
the popular ones. You can see here, they have captured this. It went on and gave over 270 pips. That is awesome, guys. That's awesome. So here you could have captured this much. If you bought, if you sold, capture that much. I mean, I prefer to go with the trend. You know, I prefer to go with the trend, but yes, you can you can have some counter trend, you can do some counter trend trading, but you have to know what you're doing basically. That's just what it is. Okay, so you can see here if you are entered here. Anyway. I'm sure you get the picture. So contact me if you want to uh, try this out and you know uh, we could talk some more. So guys, I'm gonna leave it here for this session. Like I say, I'll be posting the trades I'm getting into today over on Telegram if you join us there. Catch you now and God bless. We're back on Tuesday next week, unless I have a reason to jump in during the course of this week, I will do so. So catch you now, bye.